You see, when The Lion King was being developed, there was a desire to represent human elements of Africa in hopes of making The Lion King feel connected to this part of the world. You see, Tim Rice and Elton John may have been credited with writing the lyrics and songs for The Lion King, but Labo M was the South African producer who added his culture, perspective, and language into the songs. Hans Zimmers would even describe Lebo as his tour guide through the creation of The Lion King's music, and would often give input on how the music would be formed in South Africa. As a South African man who was forced to flee his country during the turmoil of apartheid, a terrible system of racial segregation that existed for decades in South Africa, and who had recently returned to his country when Nelson Mandela was close to becoming the country's first black president, he connected with the story of Simba. Looking back today, he absolutely elevated the songs with his contributions and effortlessly wove in the Zulu language within his music. 